Hey everyone, Jack Hilton here, AKA Unsung Empath with another video. And I want to share my experience with completing basic training one in EMDR therapy. EMDR therapy, what is that? Well, it stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing Therapy. It was written by and founded by Francine Shapiro. Um, I recommend getting her book just because of the fact that if you're interested in it, it really explains why it was developed, how it was developed, and also kind of gives you more information about if that's the modality that you want to specialize in. I also recommend Getting Past Your Past, also written by Francine Shapiro before she passed away. And it, it conceptualizes um, the main textbook, but also is written for not just the practitioner, but those who want to um, receive EMDR as a therapy um, like for themselves. Like, hey, I want EMDR therapy to help me with this problem. And this book does a really good job explaining how it works and also why it might be effective. So EMDR therapy is often used to treat trauma, PTSD, um, and memories impacting the person's ability to function. And the idea is that it uses bilateral stimulation to help the individual explore where some of their symptoms are uh, coming from or the initial starting point for that type of symptom. So if you have symptoms of anxiety or fear, it, it, it's often related to a memory that's stored and stuck because of a traumatic experience or just it not processing well. So the idea is the practitioner would use bilateral stimulation, whether they're hands or tapping or tapping on your legs or even sound as a way to help um, the individual begin to process where some of the, the memories are stored and as well as helping them desensitize the, the memory with the, the feeling of distress. And the cool thing is it, it really allows you to use other modalities because there's eight phases in it. Um, so it, it complements cognitive behavioral therapy, DBT, um, and structural dissociation. And I love that because I also completed structural dissociation to help those with complex PTSD and those who are high on the dissociative memories. And it actually really discourages individuals to just, if you're really highly dissociative, there's steps to addressing some of those dissociative memories. I love that it acknowledges that. So I really recommend individuals who are interested in EMDR to begin exploring now of what it entails, but also like really read the textbook because I think it would help you decide if this is for you. I love the fact in the training, we got to use each other as a way to really begin practicing. I, I, we didn't do mock interviews. We didn't come up with fake case scenarios. We actually practiced with each other because it really gave us now this really hands-on, real-world type of experience that we might see in our actual sessions with clients. So really consider it. It's expensive, not just in like financial um, expenses, but your time, it's a lot of time. So I just completed basic training one, and now I'll have to do consultation hours before basic training two. So there's six classes in all, and they're about all day. So it's about um, from 8.30 to 5.30 each day. So it's a long time, but I recommend it. If you have any questions about it, shoot me an email uh, or message down below. Thank you very much.